everyone, how are you doing today? It's Amar Sincilla, and I have a question for you. Have you ever had key lime pie on a stick before? Let me tell you a story. My husband and I were in Key West um, about 10 years ago, and we were walking all over Key West. It was a hot and humid day, and we were both craving something, um, you know, refreshing to cool, cool us down. And all of a sudden, we made a turn into this little um, narrow road. Lo and behold, there was this cute little shop that sold key lime pies. And then there was a sign there that says key lime pie on a stick. Oh my goodness. That was just the answer to what we were looking for. I've never had key lime pie on a stick before, but I thought the idea was genius, you know. We both got a key lime pie on a stick each, and we tasted it. It was delicious. It was just tart, and there was this crunchy chocolate coating on the outside, and the best part of it all is that we were able to take our key lime pies on a stick and continue walking. It was just a slice of refreshing paradise and deliciousness. Why am I telling you all this is because when life gives you key limes, make key lime pie. And when you have key lime pie, let's make key lime pie on a stick. First things first, we need to melt the chocolate. I have a double boiler. There's water in the pot. And then I'm going to put my bowl on top of it. And we're going to heat the water up. We need to make sure that the bottom of the bowl does not touch the water. A bag of dark chocolate here that I'm gonna melt. It's 12 ounces of chocolate. I'm gonna just put it in here, all of it. The important thing to note is when you buy the chocolate, make sure that it is not expired. My granddaughter and I found out the hard way that Expired chocolate does not melt. You can see the chocolate is starting to melt. I realize that one bag of chocolate won't be enough, so I'm using two bags of chocolate. You wanna stir the chocolate until it's all completely melted. I wanna show you that the chocolate has completely melted and it's nice and silky smooth. I'm gonna turn off the heat. All right, we have everything set up. Here's our melted chocolate. And the bowl is still nice and warm, so it'll keep the chocolate melted. And here's our key lime pie on a stick. These are key lime pies. Check out my YouTube video. And then this is key lime pie cheesecake. So I put a stick on it as well. This one, I have a tray that is also chilled. Here's the key lime pie and let's dip it in the chocolate now. We gotta do it pretty fast because we don't want the key lime to melt. This is beautiful. Put that on there. Right. Transfer my chocolate into a deeper bowl so it's better for dunking. One dunk. Shake off the excess chocolate. Oh, that's prettier. See, everything needs practice. This one's the key lime cheesecake. We need to help 
of a spatula. That was pretty fast and we're gonna pop these back into the freezer. We're gonna let the key lime pies on a stick chill completely. Okay, the key lime pies are ready and they look beautiful and absolutely frozen. Let's taste our key lime pie on a stick. Chocolate is crunchy and sweet, but I can still taste the tartness of the key lime pie, and it is really delicious. It is just a fun and delightful dessert. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and if you haven't done so yet, make sure you click that notification bell so that you'll be notified of all the new episodes that's uploaded. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.